The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 is already getting some crazy rumors, and honestly, this one sounds wild. People are saying it's gonna come with LPDDR6 RAM and UFS 5.0 storage, which basically means super fast memory and storage speeds. That kind of upgrade can make your phone not just faster, but smarter too, especially with all the new AI features that phones are starting to handle on their own. But here's where things get confusing. There's also talk that this chip will use TSMC's new 2NM N2P process, which is said to be even more advanced than what Apple's using for its A20 chip. If that's true, Qualcomm might actually have a chip that's faster and more efficient than Apple's. But that's a big if, because not everyone believes this rumor. Some tipsters are saying this doesn't make sense. The reason is simple. TSMC's N2P process isn't even supposed to be ready when Qualcomm's Gen 6 chip launches. TSMC, the company that makes chips for Apple, Qualcomm, and MediaTek, is only planning to start large-scale 2NM chip production by the end of 2025. And that's the normal N2 version, not N2P. The N2P version is supposed to come later. So if Qualcomm releases the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 in late 2026, it's very unlikely it'll use N2P. Even Apple, who usually gets the newest tech first, will still be using N2 at that time. Another reliable tipster, Fixed Focus Digital, said that in 2026, Apple, Qualcomm, and MediaTek will all still be on the N2 process. So the rumor about Qualcomm jumping straight to N2P is probably false. What does make sense, though, is the upgrade to LPDDR6 RAM and UFS 5.0 storage. These are the next logical steps for high-end smartphones. As AI becomes more important on phones, memory and storage speeds need to keep up. Your phone is no longer just opening apps or playing games. It's running AI models, translating speech live, and generating content in real time. That needs serious data speed, and that's where LPDDR6 and UFS 5.0 come in. LPDDR6 RAM will be faster and more efficient than LPDDR5X, meaning smoother multitasking, faster AI responses, and better performance. UFS 5.0 will push file transfer speeds and app loading times even further. It's a big deal, especially for flagship phones. Now, Qualcomm's Elite branding means this chip will be their absolute best, most likely the first 2NM chip from Qualcomm. It'll compete directly with Apple's A20 Pro and MediaTek's next-gen flagship. If the timeline holds, Qualcomm will announce it around late 2026, and it'll power phones like the Galaxy S27 and Xiaomi 17 series in 2027. But here's a problem Qualcomm might face. Apple has already reserved more than half of TSMC's 2NM chip supply. That means Qualcomm will have to share what's left with MediaTek and others. So even if Qualcomm wanted the N2P version, it might not even be available. Plus, these 2NM wafers are super expensive, around $30,000 per wafer. Using a newer process like N2P would make costs even higher. So let's summarize this whole thing. LPDDR6 RAM, very likely coming. UFS 5.0 storage, also very likely coming. N2P lithography, probably false, or at least not happening anytime soon. Even without the N2P process, a 2NM Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 will still be a beast. It'll run cooler, use less power, and deliver better performance overall. Combined with LPDDR6 and UFS 5.0, it's gonna be perfect for the next generation of AI-powered smartphones. This means future phones won't just be fast, they'll be smart. They'll run AI tasks locally, without needing the cloud, which means faster responses, more privacy, and better battery life. So, while this rumor about the N2P process is probably off, the upgrades in memory and storage are very real possibilities. And if Qualcomm nails this next chip, it might finally catch up to or even beat Apple in performance. But for now, we'll just have to wait and see what Qualcomm actually brings to the table when the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 becomes official.